Hey there good people, it's your Cripple Critic, and this week I'm going to try something a little different since it's the month of love. I want to talk about my top 10 underrated video games of all time. My number 10 pick is a game called Catherine for the PS3 and 360. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. Catherine is a puzzle platformer with horror elements. By day, you'll play as Vincent as he hangs out at a bar and tries to drink his relationship problems away. By night, you'll have to fight for your life in a nightmare world where you push blocks to solve puzzles and traverse the terrifying towers. Catherine was developed by the Japanese company named Atlas. The company is known for great RPGs like the Persona series and Shin Megami Tensei, they're also known for making games that sometimes touch on issues like sexual orientation and gender. Catherine doesn't have many control options to speak of, admittedly, except for subtitles and camera controls. But really, through most of the game, you'll only be using X and the control stick. Occasionally, you'll press circle to cancel things, or sometimes press square for power-ups during gameplay. You'll really just be pushing blocks, pushing blocks to solve puzzles, to escape from evil monsters and get to the top of the tower. And that's really only half of the game. The other half is going to be you talking to people, gaining relationships, and getting the occasional tidbit of information about alcohol and how you make it. The name Rum and Cola is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? It's called the Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. Yes, there are plenty of mini games in the game that really only require pressing X as well. During the nightmare world, the puzzle solving is timed. So some gamers with fine motor skill impairments may have trouble making quick decisions during the puzzle solving moments. But Catherine also provides three different difficulty levels. One on easy actually compensates and gives you, I think, 99 lives after you die. The subtitles in the game are very large and visible, so gamers with hearing impairments should be fine. The colors red and blue do sometimes signify having to do something different with a block. Still, if colorblind players play the game on easy mode, the 99 extra lives should still make it a breeze. The story for Catherine is really why I think it's underrated. In the real world, the main character Vincent has a domineering girlfriend named Catherine who begins talking about marriage, much to his dismay. Unfortunately, Vincent doesn't deal with this problem well and begins to have an affair with another woman who happens to be named Catherine. She is the complete opposite of his girlfriend. She's upbeat and sexually liberated, but something about her begins to scare him. All the while, there is a murder spree going on that seems to only affect men who have cheated in their relationships. It's a silly idea, and at times, Catherine may seem immature and sexually explicit, but this game has a very complex story once it gets going. It handles relationships in a very mature way. The story explores the unspoken rules of attraction, and the strange games people play in order to gain a potential mate. One last thing I want to mention about the story is a character named Erica, who is a transsexual waitress who worked in the bar. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. To me, she was definitely the wisest character in the game. And although her longtime friends who knew her as a man before don't always think of her as a woman, they completely respect her and listen to her advice. Definitely the best depictions of a trans person I've seen in the game, and this was 2012. There are men who act kind, but are just indecisive. Are you talking about me? You'd better straighten things out soon. If she finds out you've been dragging this out, you'll really see some blood spill. Actually, 
That's a tempting thought, too. No, it is not. So, Cat's is a game I highly recommend. It was intended for adults, so get ready for a story with layers. The game has simple enough gameplay for most disabled gamers. For an Atlas game, it sold pretty well, but most people I talk to nowadays have never even heard of it. If you find an old copy, definitely give it a try. Also, PlayStation released it on the PlayStation Store digitally. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.